So this is Nancy Chris. This woman does everything from top to bottom, inside <laughs> out. Every time I see you, you're doing something new. And I'm really excited about this film of yours. What inspired you to want to be a part of it? Well, basically, when Sylvia Noble came and brought the book to me in the film, I love the fact that it was based off of a novel, uh, you know, and that so it kind of had a built in fan base, but the point that is based off of true events and stories that happened in Arizona. So I was intrigued about, you know, we have true murder mystery events that's tied into this and it's based off her novel. And she had a hard road trying to get this film made. And um, so it's great. And here we are uh, almost a year later and the night's here. And that's the uh, first time she gets to see her dream come true. And it's been 17 years in the making. Wow. So. And did you help make that happen? How did you get the ball rolling with this? Yeah, she. I had just wrapped a horse for summer and she came out and visited me on set. And then afterwards, she liked how the set was ran. So she. We set up a meeting and, um, you know, I read the book and looked over the script and then we just started the process. I said, I'm game, let's do this. And then um, we scrambled, got the funds put together. Um, I was able to have one of my investors help match some of the funds for the film and kicked it in fast pre-production and production. I think we had about 90 days and then we were shooting the film. So it all happened really fast from like our first meeting. <laughs> Next thing she knew is we're in production making a movie. Cause I'm, that's one thing I don't like about the entertainment business. It's like way, way, way. And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. are we gonna make a movie? Let's make a movie, let's make it happen. So we just got that. And since deadly, it's been crazy. I just wrapped uh, the sparrows nesting and I've got three more films. Uh, I just got funded that we're getting ready to shoot now. Well, that's exciting. I know. You just go, 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 aren't you? I know. I don't want it any other way, though. So <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way yeah, either. But so do you use a lot of the same stars in your films? What what do people go about? Way, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 it does. Like Dean Cain was in A Horse for Summer. He's in Deadly Sanctuary. Um, well, whenever you meet fabulous people, you want to keep using You know, I really, it, I'm very loyal to my cast and crew, and it's like people are like, but you have the same people in your movies, but the movies are all different. They're different genres. They don't all acquire the same audience, you know, and it's like they're great people and they're great actors. If I can give them the opportunity and chance, why not? You know, and it's like one huge family and we go to picture to the next picture and we bring in a few more new crew members and new cast members. So you do like Terry Men and Terry Lee, they were both in one of my last films, you know, Dean Cain was and Chris Fracken's been in my last two films and so yeah. Well tell me a good story that you have behind set. Oh. Gosh, you know, we didn't have any crazy things on no. Deadly, other I than really we did. <laughs> we did have the cow, the little calf that became the, mas the mascot for the film that was out there at Bumblebee. And it's funny, Harvey Larry, one of the producers from it, he had playing around with the calf, called him Hamburger, and then put a posting on <laughs> Facebook that got ridicule people were so upset with him for posting that picture and it, it, it's funny but no we had a great fun shoot I do remember one girl though did fall in one of the ladies did fall into the pool when we were filming <laughs> we did have that so I guess. who saved her uh, I don't know I, I heard about it afterwards so it's like we were down setting up another set and they were setting up the pool scene that you'll see in the film and then I heard one of the ladies had fallen into the pool, stepped backwards and fell into the pool, and somebody had to pull her out. So I was like, oh my gosh. What's the but, best part about being a part of this industry? You know, to me, it's like, I've been in it since I was 13. And um, it, to me, it's like being a kid in a candy store. When I'm on set, I'm the happiest. You know, we're creating, you make such great families and friends, and it's like, when you wrap that day, it's like everybody goes through withdrawals, you know, and you're like, when are we going to make the next film? So I love the whole entire process. Well, good for you, and I can't wait to see it. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You bet. Thank you, guys.